Hi there, I hope you're having a great day. Um, if you've been following me on social media or are part of the Nancy Hicks Live community, which you can access on my website, nancyhickslive.com, then you know that I've been in the Philippines for the last several days. And in fact, I just arrived home early this morning. Uh, one of my greatest joys was to travel around the Philippines and to encourage women, mostly women, um, to be all they were created to be. These are women who had recently learned that they could have a contribution to the kingdom of God with their own talents and resources and many of these women were very very poor and are uneducated so what a joy it was for me to be a part of that meanwhile back here in the US there was this march in Washington for women and in fact across the nation and across the globe uh, on every continent marching and celebrating the impact that women have had on society throughout history. And we know that this is true. Women have been movers and shakers in politics, in education, in business, in arts and science, in the church, and absolutely in the home, raising every man and woman who man and woman who ever had done anything of any value. And so we do celebrate women. It is a marvel to me and perplexing why we would do anything other than that. Um, certainly when we look back 2,000 years and we look at Jesus at a time when women were property and were diminished greatly, Jesus turned that upside down and gave women um, dignity. He protected them from public ridicule and from shaming. He um, protected women from the capriciousness of divorce when at, at the time a man could divorce a woman for any reason at all and then would leave her destitute. Jesus said, no, 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 we're not going to divorce and just do that to a woman. Jesus uh, ordained and called women to be the first communicators of the good news that he had been raised from the dead. Uh, Jesus put his loving, redeeming, restorative hands on women who hadn't been touched for years and declared unclean and shunned from society. Jesus was the first one to say to bring them back in and to restore them and redeem them. Uh, some of the strongest followers of Jesus, aka disciples, were women. And so we join Jesus, we join Jesus in celebrating women, in giving women their due respect and dignity. To do anything less than that is to go against Jesus. To do anything less than celebrating women is to distort the very image of God. God bless you today.